Put yourself in Isaiah Joe's shoes. It's the sixth game of the season, there's five minutes left in the fourth quarter, and to this point, you've gotten playing time in just two other games for seven total minutes on the season. And with your team down 16 on the road in Dallas, Mark Dagnall points at you and calls your name to go in. So, what are you thinking? I mean, in my mind, we were, we were not out of the game. In my mind, I'm going in to you know, try to be a spark. I wasn't going out there to lay down. Joe's first touch came via hustle, tracking down a rebound and getting fouled doing it. So, he got the benefit of two free throws, both makes, to build some quick confidence. Then he hit a smooth jumper. Finds Joe, he'll step in for the deep two. Now, he's hooping. A lot of things happen from there. Swarming defense, SGA being SGA, the Dorcher Chamber. The steal by Dorcher. And the Thunder roared back to make it a three-point game. Needing a stop to have a shot to tie it. And Joe found himself guarding Luka Doncic. Joe, undersized on Doncic here. And the biggest possession of the game. Wood swings it down to Bullock, his three, off. And the rebound to Shea, 20 seconds, shot clock is off. Shea puts his head down, kicks it out to Joe, and this game is tied! And you just have to see it to believe it. But think about this, in basketball, there's no way to warm up before going in. In football, the kicker can hit kicks into a net before trying a game winner. In baseball, a pitcher warms up in the bullpen. But in basketball, you might not even get to touch the ball for hours. It was crazy. Crazy. <laughs> he didn't take a shot for damn near two hours, you know? <laughs> so what do you do? You stay mentally locked in. You engage in timeouts. You ask questions. You pay attention to the game. You run yourself through mental reps of what your role would look like on that play. It's kind of like a a mind over matter thing. You just got if your mind's in the right in the right space, if you have the right mindset going into the game, you know, you may be a little stiff, but you're gonna turn around very quick. You know, I think I got in the game, got a quick rebound, felt like I jumped pretty high on that rebound. Maybe maybe I didn't, but but yeah, I got that rebound, got fouled, and after that, I mean I was already I was already pretty loose. That mentality, the stay ready mindset, is something the Thunder are intentionally training into players. You never know when your number is gonna be called and there's a lot of opportunity in that. Once guys continue to keep finding their rhythm, there's always a possibility for different lineups and for you to play in the NBA. You know, that's what more could you want to have that opportunity. You can go back to the first game of the season where Dagnalt started the second half with the new lineup and then subbed in two-way player Eugene Amaruyi to go with a super small lineup against Minnesota's new supersized front court. A 16-point deficit turned into a tie game heading into the fourth. Land all night. Omarui is going to give him the lead. 79. Is it the sort of thing where, you know, game plan wise, you know, like, okay, there's a chance you're going to you're going to go small and you're going to guard Towns, mm -hmm. or is that kind of like an in the moment thing of like, Eugene, you got Towns. Yeah, like Coach Mark always says, get ready. I always call it like a shot of Red Bull. You kind of just boom, all that adrenaline kind of builds into it, and your body becomes fully warmed, and you're just locked on your matchup and locked in on whatever coach needs to do out there. And, that's a big thing for me. For a veteran like Mike Muscala, who's been a picture of the stay ready mindset for a while now, it starts in pregame with a focused, high octane game speed routine. Something he picked up from some of the league's greatest shooters. I try to go, you know, game speed um, for like 15, 20 minutes before. Seeing guys like, especially good shooters, like playing with Kyle Korver, Playing with J.J. Redick, guys I looked up to as a young player, just seeing the pace at which you know they went, you know, in practice and in warmups, um, making that game speed, you know, that definitely had an effect on me. Isaiah Joe's method is, well, pretty much the complete opposite of that. I like to clear my head. I like to meditate and, like, you know, listen to like lo-fi music with like no words, just empty space, and just try to let my mind take me into a, you know just a readiness state. Basketball doesn't have a bullpen or a net to kick into, so you create your own mental version of it. You lock in with wordless music or full speed workouts pregame. You visualize, you mentally rep. You train preparation, engaging the different skills and roles of the entire roster. You build rhythm 
that carries beyond a single game. There is Isaiah Joe already with five and three more as he steps behind the tape and knocks down another three. And that is what it's all about. Experience that stacks, compounds, and builds to something bigger.